fleet managers frequently report to different departments, including procurement, finance, and HR. But the model of how a fleet department works and flows shouldn't necessarily change. You know, when we think about who we report to, right, procurement is, is kind of the, the new thing. It's not necessarily new. You know, this happened 12, 13 years ago. We were in the same kind of ebb and flow. Uh, but the reality is, you know, whether you, you report to, you know, an HR function or you report to a sales function or finance or procurement, right, the model shouldn't necessarily change. Uh, you know, the benefit that the fleet manager brings is, is big data, right? So if we think about total cost of ownership, not how cheap can you get the vehicle on the front end, but that you can prove out that over the three year or five year life cycle or 10 year life cycle of the vehicle, that there's opportunities for savings, right? So in the grand scheme of how much do I spend to maintain it? How much do I spend on fuel? And, and what's my return on my investment when I go to sell that vehicle, the resale value? Um, if that five year, three year life cycle is beneficial, you get to kind of draw that line across all those HR and, and procurement functions and, and say, here's, here's the benefit, right? So I think procurement gets a bad rap. Um, their main goal, uh, right, is, is primarily to set the contract in place that is the most beneficial to the organization. Um, at that point in time, it then gets handed over to fleet um, to be able to report back out to a procurement function, but to run their fleet the same way that they would no matter who they reported into.